Ugh. What is this? So this is the gem that goes to the uh, um, obelisk. So it just doesn't look like an obelisk. It looks like a Flintstones wheel, so it's hard to think of it as an obelisk. Ah, visitors. I've been alone here for so long. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot to do a voice. Ah, visitors. I've been alone here for so long. Still, leave this place at once, lest the curse of the dead descends upon you. Um, I'll brave the curse. Bravery is seldom a virtue in this cursed place. This temple was once a magnificent focus of power, where the great priests of Athos assembled to study their art. I was their teacher. What happened? Betrayal by one of the priests under my instruction. My pupils came from two cities, one far to the east, the other beyond this western horizon. A concubine in the western city bore her sorcerer king an exquisite daughter who was to be joined to a prince in the eastern land. When she came of age, the girl was brought to me for an education, and we fell in love. Who betrayed you? Apos was his name. He came from the eastern city. One night he discovered me and the girl together and betrayed our feelings to his sorcerer king. What was the girl's name? Her name was Tristram. What did the sorcerer king do? He sent Apos to destroy me. Using the sorcerer king's power, he laid this temple to waste and herein trapped the spirits of all my servants as well as my own. Tristram included. He made sure we could never be together. Will you help me end this suffering? What do you want me to do? There are two hard crystals. Bring them to me. One is mine. The other belongs to my love, Tristram. Where are the heart crystals? They are tokens of affection, but also much more. The heart crystal I gave Tristram is made from a gem grown from her very essence. I was crasp crafting another heart crystal in my chambers, this one made of my spirit, when doom befell my temple. I fear that my heart crystal will be near impossible to find, as raiders took it long ago. I no longer feel it near me, so it must be on the surface of Athos somewhere. Um, blah blah blah. Okay, let's keep scrolling down, I don't really want more details. Uh, how will the heart crystal help you? I cannot break the curse from here. Apos did not know how to properly wield the Sorcerer King's power. There is a way to escape the trap. I believe Tristram and I can place our spirits in the heart crystals. Then you can take us to a place where we can be together. I will tell you where when, we, when you bring the, me the crystals. Um... How, will you how do you enter them? When the heart crystal is activated near me, I will be drawn into it, as long as the crystal is not within the circle. Okay. Um... God damn it. This is just a repeat, right? Um... I don't really want to ask that. There are treasures in this place that only I can tell you how to find. That information is all I can offer as a reward. I will do what I can to help. That's what I was looking for. Come on, man. I believe Tristram and I can place our spirits in the heart crystals. Then you can take us to a place where we can be together. I will te tell you where when you bring me the crystals. You will forever have my gratitude. Yeah, so n this is a rope, I think. Right? Do you wish to leave this area? You gotta just walk towards it. Yes. Um, so next video... I'll probably try to figure out how to make that formula. Hopefully I didn't already screw myself over or something. Um, the, you know, the thing that I was trying to make with the pith extract or whatever that I screwed up. God damn it. Uh, trying to walk anywhere with the mouse is kind of annoying. So, let's go. I'm going to go activate those two obelisks and then I'm probably going to call it a video. 
Oh, wait. No, no. <laughs> Durr. God, man. So scatterbrained. Let's go back to the village. And let's activate the obelisk here. That way, when we uh, come back, it'll be activated and all that sort of thing. Well, that way we won't have to walk back here. You're back already? You thought you were off to save Athos and fulfill the prophecy. Whatever. Shut up, I don't see you doing anything. Come on. Oh, God. Why does this have to be so freaking tedious, man? There. No, what the fuck? Okay. So we do have Lod's Rod now, right? That's what we needed. Lod's Rod. If any of us has it, it's probably Alosa. There it is, okay. So that's what you used to teleport, but right now, since the, we only have one obelisk, uh, activated, and that happens to be exactly where we are at the moment. That doesn't do us a lot of good. So, um, let us go back to the fields. We'll activate that obelisk. And, uh, after that we will... Wait, hold on. Looks like we got some foes over here. So, let me save first. Just in case, because you never know how tough these guys are going to be. Yeah, okay, so, um, these guys are wild moles, and these are t defilers. Definitely going to kill the defilers first. What does she have? Uh, can't use haste. I would have to rest to be able to use that. Um, I think this creates a... Uh, the ground. I just want to affect them. I don't want to actually... No, there's no missiles here. Wall of fog. Yeah, when you have a party like this, those aren't as useful. I should have created a proper party. That way I would actually have use for, like... Spells. And magic is actually fairly powerful in this game. When I played uh, Wake of the Ravager before and I used a, a real party, I uh, found magic to be very useful. Um, a lot of attacks. I think we're doing pretty good because we got so many magical weapons. Of course, <clears throat> what I had played in the past, I also used, uh, I don't know why I'm checking these guys, I don't think they're going to have anything useful. When I had played in the past, I also, I'll just go ahead and use this campfire ring, because why not? That'll restore, uh, our haste spell and everything. In case we run into something nasty, probably want that. When I had played in the past, uh, I used two giants, two half giants, which is just ridiculous. You have two half giants. Uh, fighters and a pure uh, mage and a pure cleric. It's a pretty powerful party. And uh, it's almost like cheating, honestly, the half giant, but it's kind of fun. It's different. Something you don't see in a um, Forgotten Realms D&D &D game. I don't... You know what? I've never found psionics that useful, but to tell the truth, I think I'm just not used to it. Whenever I've played Baldur's Gate games, I haven't used it either. So... I don't know. You know, it, just, it seems like a lot of RPGs don't really use psionic type things very well. They don't really know how to use it. Like, they put it in there, it seems like, pretty much as a gimmick. So, the green gem that we picked up, in case you were yelling at me earlier in the game, because you were paying attention and I wasn't, uh, there you go. I finally put it in its place. I know somebody was yelling at me before about something I didn't pick up in the sewers, and they were right, I, I wasn't paying attention. To my, in my defense, it is a bit difficult. Psst, come over here, I need to talk to you. What? I we already did this. 
Where am I? This could be easier. Is that the surf? You're escaped slaves, right? Don't worry, I won't tell the guards. Actually, if you're interested, I've got a proposal for you. What's the proposition? I've got an item I'll give you. You cannot... What? We already did this. Get the... Get out of here. I don't want to deal with more surf stuff, dude. Dude, I'm a surf man. It's blowing my mind being a surf man. Whoa. Yeah, anyway. It's probably enough of that. If you want to hear more of that, just go watch friggin' uh, Finding Nemo or whatever that is. You know what it is, anyway. I don't have to tell you. Okay, so there's some guys over there, and there's some guys... Well, not guys, but there's some nasties over here. These will probably be tougher than... Well... Alright, let's... Get started kicking their butts. Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, he got a lot of attacks, didn't he? I'm actually getting the pro the right people I want to attack for. Oh, come on. Why can't she get more attacks? Oh. Uh, they seem to have a good hit chance, but they don't hit very hard. At least I'm not getting my butt kicked as bad as I was in Dagolar's tunnels. That was ridiculous. Well, I guess let's go face these guys. Might as well. Assuming they stay still. Uh, yeah, so we're going to the red sands to activate the thing there, and, uh... Yeah. Fortunately, moving doesn't cost you, uh, attacks or anything. Uh-uh. Yeah, we gotta activate the obelisk, and uh, we might be able to turn in that quest to that guy. You know, I guess moving around and doing these battles just takes so long. This is actually turning into a relatively long LP. Uh, Elosa went up a psionic level. Man, I don't know what I was working on. Ballistic attack. Detonate. Inertial barrier. What else was I working on? This fast fresh run. You know what? I don't have enough like damage stuff. So I might work on some of that. Yeah, let's work on some of that. Damage stuff. Detonate sounds good. I don't know. I could be just utterly wasting my abilities there. I should I should probably like take in a FAQ or something on that. Cause I have no clue. Anyway, so let's go to Red Sands. This is becoming a long LP, isn't it? Well, I'll just break it up into parts like I normally do. It just mainly affects me. I'm just getting tired of... Uh... I'm not necessarily tired of playing it. If I was playing it on my own, I'd just be, like, into playing it. But get a, I get a little tired of being on, as it were. You know, just trying to be cool, I guess, which is quite the effort. Because God knows it's not normal. Not for me. I'm not cool. No, I'm not trying to be cool. If anything, if it's not cool cool, it's not like... Hey, it's nerd cool, which is different. It's, you know, cool cool is not nerd cool. <laughs> I should probably just shut up while I'm ahead. Which, as I've said before, is who said I was ahead in the first place, but, uh, yeah. Alright, so, now, we go down to this guy. No, I don't think you can shoot him from there. You'd have to be a hell of an archer. Although archery isn't quite... Yeah, anyway. We're talking about Lord of the Rings archery here. Like, realistic archery back in the day. You just sort of... It's not so much... I mean, not that accuracy isn't important. You just sort of, like... It's more... Uh, qu quantity over quality. Anyway, so, uh, with that... 
um, which I'm basing on Braveheart, basically, so, oh, I don't know, I'm saying Braveheart is more real than Robin Hood, which, I don't freaking know, man, I don't know, anyway, you know, mooning people and all that is more realistic, I guess, than whatever, bears talking, <laughs> yeah, uh, comparing Mel Gibson to Disney, that's interesting, anyway, so, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. I'm gonna talk to the guy next time. Uh, that'll that'll do it for this episode of uh, Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands. So this is Bezlinger signing out, and uh, I'll see you.